You are way off on Le'Veon Bell. First of all, the question is not should people question Le'Veon Bell's commitment to the team. The question is, to, or the real questioning should be about the team's commitment to Le'Veon Bell. This is a business decision that the team was making. Well, we'll franchise him, franchise him. We never have to really risk long-term money on him. And then by the time he's old enough, enough wear and tear, we're going to say we're only going to give you this little contract instead of the big one. Le'Veon Bell made a business decision. Well, I'm going to take it easy in that case, and I'll, I'll preserve myself my age 26 season so teams will know age 27 is like age 26. I want that deal. That's all business. But once Le'Veon Bell is out on the field, that's why you don't see him, you know, taking half steps on the field right now. He's just not going to play. You have to understand this man's overall game. He's not the fast, twitchiest guy, but he's the most skillful guy. Todd Gurley's got more talent than him. Saquon Barkley's got more talent than him. Ezekiel Elliott's got more talent than him. Lots of guys got more talent than Le'Veon Bell, but Le'Veon Bell has more skills than any of them. Ball skills, ball security, patience, uh, uh, you know, catching the ball. Anything you need Le'Veon to build, Bell to do as a running back, he does just about better than everybody else. Maybe each individual component better than anybody else. That is done through commitment to your craft. Once that man is out on the field, I'm not worried at all. If I was Le'Veon, I'd be worried about the team making a commitment to me. Here's why you don't have to question Le'Veon's commitment. Because you know that his commitment isn't to team. So there's no question in that. Mm. It's not like, hey, is Le'Veon going to be committed to, let's say, the New York Jets? There's no question. Because we know what Le'Veon Bell is committed to. He's committed to Le'Veon Bell. And that's why he's sitting out. Because he doesn't want to be out there. He doesn't want to risk injury. He doesn't want to take on the wear and tear. But I agree with Max. When he plays, when he gets to a team, whether it's the Pittsburgh Steelers, if it's somewhere else, for whatever amount of time he's on the field, he is going to perform. He is going to work. Because when he gets out there, he's going to have to show those potential suitors or whatever team he's on that, you know what, I can still do this. I am still committed to the craft of playing running back. And let's say he went to the New York Jets. Immediately the day he was on that team, because he wants to be paid like a number one running back, a star running back, and a number two receiver. If he went to the Jets, he'd be the best running back <laughs> and the best receiver. And, the best receiver. <laughs> and he'd play like it. And so you don't have to question his commitment to whether or not he wants to help your team win because he wants Le'Veon Bell to be, to be the best. He wants Le'Veon Bell to get paid. Now, unless he pulls a Earl Thomas and says, you know what, oh. if I have a headache, I'm not going to oh. practice. Oh. 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 And that bothers you? Oh. Yeah, practice. And that's on you. Right, right. But and that when, bothers you? But between but when it comes the lines of the play? Field, he's going to ball. And I have no doubt in my mind about well, that. Well, it's interesting how y'all, you, you, you know, you just sit there. And by the way, anytime you want to change the question, feel free to do it in the morning meeting as well. Feel free. Here's I'm not invited the, to here's those. The, I understand that. I'm talking to him. But here's the deal. <laughs> Le'Veon Bell has 582 carries over the last two years, 321 last year. He has an additional 160 receptions over the last two years. That is a lot of activity. Le'Veon Bell is also cognizant of what the Dallas Cowboys did to the DeMarco Murrays of the world or whatever. I am not sitting here and implying that he's going to get out on the field and give a half-hearted effort. What I am saying is, is that when you have that stuff in your mind, ultimately it can serve to compromise you because going all out with reckless abandon, just doing what you do and freewheeling is something in all my years of covering sports, guys who find themselves in contractual situations, the only guys that don't have that problem, that potential malady, are the guys that have made enough money that they are secure enough that they're not worried about it. But anybody who has had financial issues and find themselves in a similar situation like this, do Le'Veon Bell's made about $30 million I'm just already. saying that, you, you, yeah, he's made about $30 million, but I'm he just talking about... He wants to make more, right. He yeah. wants to make a lot more, Max. Yeah. Well, of course, and he should. I've spoken and to him should. in the past, and, and, he should. I, and he should. We're not questioning... Yeah. And I know y'all are not questioning that. Yeah. I'm simply saying Here's the, the man, not only did he sees the money that others are making, right. the Todd Gurley's and others of the world, and his whole determination, and he and I spoke about this months ago, his whole determination is to make sure that he is treated not just as a running back, but as an elite receiver 
receiver as well, and he is compensated accordingly. But here, here's the issue and as that's I where see it, a challenge. in terms of, like, his commitment, their commitment, whatever. <laughs> When you look at the teams who Le'Veon Bell makes sense for, it's the win-now teams. Mm -hmm. Like, I love him on Green Bay. I just want to see Aaron Rodgers with a play-action threat of <laughs> right, Le'Veon right. Bell. <laughs> Good luck stopping and two elite tackles when they're healthy. Not, you can't, there's nothing you can do. Go ahead. You have the big, biggest defensive genius. Stop that. Go ahead. There's nothing you can do. I'd love to see him on Tampa. Like, they don't really have a running game. Imagine putting Le'Veon Bell with all those receivers and now you can run the ball. But... Those teams don't have the cap space mm -hmm. at the moment. They'd have to make moves. The teams with the cap space, the Jets, really aren't ready to win now. Not quite yet. Yep. So where's the fit going to be? But, but I'm that, telling that, you. That team with the cap space, like the Jets, who's going to have about $90 million in cap space yep. next season, they got the money to give him what he wants. What I'm saying is if they figure it out. Which is a conversation you have to have with him before you make the trade. If they figure that out, if he winds up on a team that's built to win now and knows we got to pay him over at least the next three years, that is going to be a match made in heaven. Like, you put Le'Veon Bell on a team that's going to pay him for three years right now, like, give him some money, I just he's going to be clear. I'm not perform. acting like the man is going to go out on the field and not give a damn. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying psychologically, if you're scared mm -hmm. about doing something to compromise your money, you ultimately compromise your game. What's the, the guarantee you think he needs? Guaranteed dollars. He has to get 40. Right. I think he that's, has to get 40. That's three years of paying yep. a guy for at least three years. I would say 45, 15 a year. You could do that too. He's making 15 now, just right. about.